Hey guys, welcome to Kenya's Kitchen 88. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today we will be cooking one of my favorites, jambalaya pasta. This chicken and shrimp jambalaya pasta can be made in no time. If you haven't already, hit the like, comment, or subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to prepare our seasoning blend. One teaspoon of onion powder. I use one and a half teaspoon of the lemon black pepper seasoning. Add one teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of the garlic and herb obey seasoning. One teaspoon of paprika. We're going to add some of the seasoning blend to our chicken and then you're going to set some of it to the side for later. Be sure to coat the chicken well with the seasoning blend. Then in your pot you're going to add a little bit of olive oil and you're going to allow it to get hot. Once the oil gets hot, we're going to add our chicken to the pot. You're going to stir your chicken consistently and be sure to cook on all sides. While your chicken is cooking, we can go ahead and cook the pasta. You're going to cook the pasta according to the package instructions and then we're going to drain the pasta. Reserve a little bit of the pasta water before you drain it. Once the chicken is cooked through, we're going to remove it from the pan. You're going to add a little bit of butter. And then you're going to add your shrimp to the pot. Add a little bit of the seasoning to the shrimp. And then we're going to allow our shrimp to cook for about two to three minutes until it's done. Once your shrimp is cooked through, we're going to remove it. Once you remove the shrimp, we're going to add a little bit more butter. Once the butter melts, we're going to add our veggies. For this recipe, I used half of a red onion, and then I used half of a green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and yellow bell pepper. Saute your veggies for about three to five minutes. When your veggies are almost done, we're gonna add our chicken broth. I used about two cups, and then we're gonna add our tomato sauce, about eight ounce. Add your fresh diced tomatoes. There was a little bit of seasoning left over, so I went ahead and dumped that in there as well. Then you're going to add the cooked chicken, shrimp, and then you're going to stir everything together. We're going to allow our sauce to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to turn the heat down and let the sauce simmer for about three minutes. Then you're going to add the cooked pasta, and then you're going to stir the pasta into the sauce. Your chicken and shrimp jambalaya pasta should come out looking delicious like this. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I do. Be sure to hit the like, comment, or subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think.